Hey guys, what's up? Happy New Year. It's January 2nd and I am back with an Elite Trader funding update. Um, so the market does open tomorrow and you will be able to trade uh, your funded accounts or start your funded accounts for the new year, whatever you want to do. Um, but Elite Trader has made uh, some changes and some updates since my last review. Um, and I wanted to quickly touch on those because I've had a couple questions about them. Uh, and it's just, it's good for transparency for everyone to know what's going on and how you could potentially blow up an account or, or not, hopefully. Um, and, and reading these announcements is the great way uh, to start that. So first they say that they learned a lot in 2022, what works, what doesn't work, uh, what traders want, what do we want, right? <laughs> uh, and what they don't want. Um, and here are some stats. So 1700 elite traders qualified for a qualified account, um, and were funded, uh, and other great things. That's awesome. Um, and then they start talking about what they're working on for 2023 and it's not giving all of the details, but it is giving some things, uh, and some things to keep in mind. So we will no longer be able to trade news, uh, us major economic events, FOMC, CPI, anything that's red folder, uh, on your Forex factory, uh, will be restricted from trading and no longer allowed in elite accounts, which is kind of sad because there are a lot of other. Uh, prop firms that will let you trade news and that was one of the perks of elite right uh, if you wanted to trade news you could now you no longer can there cannot be any active positions or orders filled in the time period between five minutes prior to the event and five minutes after the event that means that you can't even try to enter right after a move uh, you have to wait five minutes and that's kind of dumb um and if you like trading news, I personally don't trade a lot of news, but if I wanted to, I'd like to have the option, right? Um, and then they go on to say that they want to partner with disciplined traders who have demonstrated a consistent strategy that doesn't involve luck, basically. Um, and, and here's another big rule change too. The 30% rule is now changed to 40% rule. This means that 40% uh, of your account cannot be made in one trade. So let's say you have a hundred thousand dollar account and you make five grand, but you make 3000 of that five grand in one trade, uh, that you, they won't let you withdraw. You're going to have to make up the other portion of that. Uh, so that $3,000 win is less than 40% of your overall account. Um, so that was effective yesterday. Um, and then one month has been removed from the payout schedule requirement, meaning month four is the month you can take full payout, which is very nice. You'll be able to withdraw as much as you want after four months instead of five. And they're also introducing something called a live elite account, um, which is essentially them actually letting you trade real, real funds and not just like simulated funds on their end. Um, but you have to con demonstrate consistent profitability. What that means, I have no idea. And they haven't really given a bunch of details on what criteria they're looking for. Um, but live elite accounts also would benefit from the 90, 10 split instead of 80, 20 doesn't have a 40% rule. Um, and there are new, no news trading restrictions. So basically a live elite account gets to do everything that an old elite account would have been able to do. Um, and with a 90, 10 split which is nice. So I really am interested to see what these, what the criteria is going to be for these live elite accounts. Um, but I'm just not sure they have not released them. If they have, I haven't seen them. Um, and then some other changes to this overall platform. So a new and improved dashboard with more detailed statistics, which is nice because as of currently, it shows you your balance and whatever day you're on. Um, and then if you fail it, it'll say failed, right? That's it. It doesn't show you anything else. Um, and then rule tracking and other self-service buttons, which is very nice. Um, also, they've added a NinjaTrader Tradeavate integration. So you basically can trade on Tradeavate or NinjaTrader on either platform with the same login. So that's kind of convenient. Uh, I guess they're coming out with competitions and cash prizes, uh, new and improved affiliate center with better tracking, payout, and promotional tools, and plus much, much more. So I'm not really sure. Um, too much about this live account. These are the obviously the biggest things. No more trading news. Um, the this new live account and the forty percent rule now, which used to be thirty percent. Um, I am not a hundred percent a fan of all of these rules. Obviously, um, just because I like more leeway. That was the whole point of why I liked Elite so much. 
Um, but I guess I will continue to trade in my funded account and see, you know, where they go and how they continue to progress. And I'll provide updates um, as I can. But hopefully I explained these as best as I could. If you guys have questions, let's leave them in the comments. I'd try to get to all of them. Um, and, and it's good to see you guys again. Welcome to the new year. I'll be posting more. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, turn on notifications if you'd like to see every time I post. Uh, and, and let's have a great 2023. Bye, guys.